Welcome to this video tutorial for US Master in our series about planimetric feature extraction in stereo. And in this video, we just want to talk about the environment for measuring itself. So we need to have some terrain data for our area. You either extract a surface. Uh, what I did, I just took my tie points and converted them into LAS and loaded them here with import file into point cloud. And so then I can load for my whole area here the data and can start the point cloud editing. Uh, I want not to edit my point cloud, I want here to start to measure stereo data. And we want to talk here about the environment for the measuring. So we will see here on the left side our terrain tab. So here we have predefined layer layers for our measurements. So we uh, offer here break line measurement and exclusion areas and ground points and form lines. The true auto part is then when you are running our info professional software tools about true auto generation from the classic way where you have a terrain model and you have the building shapes, object shapes. So this will not be covered here in our video series. To measure in one of these layers, you can just simply right click it and then set as active. When you do this, then we will here update here on top the layer. So if I go to exclusion area, we see here the change appearing in the drop down boxes. When I open a stereo model, then we can see here on the bottom right two different height values. One is uh, when I and the other one is my um, interpolated height from the terrain. And uh, sorry, the first one here is my height at the stereo cursor. So if I change my cursor, I can do this by keeping the right mouse button clicked and then I move my mouse up or down. So I move it up and then we see that my second value here changed to 570.39. If I move it down, so if I keep the right mouse button clicked and I move my mouse downwards, then I change my height also, then I get back here to 568. The second value is an interpretation on the current existing terrain model. So here I can also see what is my um, uh, value from the terrain model itself. Important for the measuring also is the zoom level. Depending on what zoom level you are, also the accuracy is if, um, affected. So we are currently at zoom level 1 to 1. We can change this to 1 to 4. Then this will also be shown here in the menu bar. And of course, then we will measure on a lower resolution and therefore our accuracy will be less accurate. You can also direct access them with the F buttons. So in the F5, you are then on one to one, or if you go to F4 or F3, then we zoom in into the data and we have then uh, a better possibility to make an interpretation and to measure stuff. Of course, still one to one is our original resolution of the image and you can't measure better even if you would zoom more in then of course the interpretation is better but uh, our accuracy positioning is still the same um, and therefore we won't gain uh, quality but we will we will gain of course interpretation quality in us edit you can import and export data uh, this is possible here from file import and export so you can also import existing data already. Uh, we have here some morphological data. I will open up this here and then we can assign them. I will add my break lines to break lines. I have some true auto data, which we will only use for visualization and put this onto the true auto layer. And then the data is loaded into this part. When we take a look at our project itself, we can see it here in the upper part and therefore I will here open a stereo model. Let me close my previous one. 
and then when we take here a look at the data we can now see the data loaded and overlaid to our aerial images and then we could either continue the measurement uh, this is also a very common thing for checking the quality also if you have some reference data then you could overlay it and see if the orientation from US project um, has the quality achieved and also um, for continuation of measurement this is also a good choice and then the opposite way if this would be now my data I would have measured now then we can also export the data so we can go to file export vector data then we will use the separated export always and then we say we will only export our morphological data edit then we will define our output format I will keep it as DXF and then I will say here export as one of my file names as I want and then when we define this then we can in the next step define what data you want to export now if you only measured uh, in the break lines then you can just export the break lines or you can make here your selection and then after that we can also limit the export I won't do this I will export everything and then just write out the data to our file and then we have the data uh, exported and we can take a look here at our output that was generated and here we have then our exported data to this part oh sorry wrong part it's in my project folder here and here we see export.dxf is then written out of course this one can be again imported and exported of course okay so this is about the measuring environment in US edit and I hope you liked it and see you in the next video have fun goodbye